So previously, when we were doing ionic structure, we did that metals were losers, as in they lose their outer shell, and non-metals gained to fill. outer shells. Now largely all interactions with metals and non-metals are exactly the same. Metals will lose their outer shell of their outer shells and non-metals will gain to fill their outer shells. So we're going to use this as an example now. If I have lithium and I have potassium Lithium has the arrangement 2, 1. Potassium in the same group has 2, 8, 8. And one, two, eight, eight, one. Now, lithium, if I put this into water, it will fizz. It will bubble a little bit. But if I put potassium into water, it will explode. Now, just on these diagrams, we can notice some very key differences, which is going to explain why this fizzes as unreactive. And this explodes as reactive. Now the first distance, the first difference that you can see is that lithium has a very small difference to lose the electron. So it is harder to lose the lithium because we have a very small distance from that nucleus. On potassium, we have a very large distance to the nucleus. That's where the positive charge is. So lithium has a small difference, small distance, so it's harder to lose because it's a smaller distance to the outer energy level. The next thing we have is on lithium, we have one, two electrons on the inside. All of the electrons have negative charge. On potassium, I have 18 electrons in the inside of my shells. So I have 18 in inner shells. And here I have two inner electrons. That means these inner electrons will be repelling the outer electron. These inner electrons will be repelling this outer electron. So we have a word for it called electron shielding. And that means it's the electrons are shielding the positive charge of the nucleus from the outer electron. So if electron shielding is less, it is a lot harder to lose them. For non-metals, we obviously have it the other way around. For fluorine, which is two, seven, it will be much more difficult for it to, it'll be much easier, sorry, for it to gain electrons if it's at a smaller distance than chlorine, which is one, two, eight, seven. 
So here I have two, seven, here I have two, eight, seven. But we can use the same rules. Non-metals want to gain. For fluorine, it's much easier to gain because I have a bigger, I have a smaller distance to my outer energy level and I have much less electron shielding with fluorine. With that in mind, that means that in non-metals, if I go to the top right of the periodic table, I will get more reactive. And if I go to the bottom left of the periodic table for metals, it will get more reactive.